How has building your personal brand opened new opportunities in your career? Well, my personal brand really started off with my blog, and my first blog was called Reminders to Myself. So I wasn't writing it for anyone else. I was just writing it for me, and people were inspired by it. And, of course, that led to books or whatnot. And what I found was that my book didn't become a bestseller or anything, at least not yet, but um, it did serve as a better business card. And so when I hand somebody a book that's half an inch thick on a particular topic, um, their listening of me changes drastically. Um, and because of who I am, I get calls, I get emails for all kinds of opportunities, whether it's speaking opportunities, consulting opportunities. Um, sometimes uh, capture your flag videos are out there saying, well, how'd you hear about me? It was a capture your flag video. How did I get on capture your flag? It was through um, my personal brand and, and curating that and being aware of what that is and, and sharing it with the world, not just keeping it bottled up, but actually sharing it. Um, and personal brand, I do think there is some curation to it, but at the end of the day, it's just you being who you are. And sometimes you got to get out of your own way. Forget the logos, forget the color schemes, and just be you. Your brand is already who you are. It's your DNA, essentially. Um, and if you authentically share that, there'll be people who connect with you and there'll be people who don't. And um, then you just go with your tribe of those who are connecting with your brand in the way that you're delivering uh, particular content or information in your story. 